You know how they say that when you face death, your whole life flashes before you? It wasn't my past that flashed before me. It was more of my future. I was so worried about what I, what I hadn't done and all the things that I had hoped to do. And I was wondering if I was going to have time to do all these things that I had always put off all these, all these years. And my other fear was how my kids were going to react. It wasn't about me. I was really worried about how my kids were going to react to hear that their mother had cancer. I was scared to death to tell them. You don't really know what to think at first because it just hits you all of a sudden, you know? And, it, well, it hit me when I was in school, so it was like I had other things on my mind, too, so I tried to not think about it. Well, something also told me that, I mean, you weren't going anywhere anytime soon, that you'll still be here, you'll still be around. And then at the time that we do have together, that we'll just make it fun and enjoyable. But you are all, all that Grant and I have. I mean, if you were to leave us, we wouldn't have anybody. I understand how my daughter feels. Ironically, my mother was diagnosed with lung cancer just weeks before I was. When I told my father, I handed him a brochure. I mean, I just couldn't come up with the words to tell him. And when I had to tell my mother I had cancer, she's so unselfish that she was worried about me. Through my mother, I actually saw how terrifying cancer can be, how it could really ravage you. It scared me to death to see what was happening to my mother. And I was scared that was going to happen to me, quite honestly. It, it tore me apart for it to be happening to my mother. But I would look and say, she has cancer. I have cancer. And I, am I going to get like that too? Cancer's scary. There's a lot of things out there to treat it, but uh, cancer's scary.